see how that looks. You know, I, I usually just go through and just try all different ways just to see if I if any of them look any better. Maybe the color on that one now. The lighting. That kills it up. But um let's get rid of that one. I'm just trying to get this to work with one layer though. And we'll set it to normal for now. And go back. And let's try. You know, that's the vector blur and the whole thing. Uh, you can also, which is, of course, better like I did on the other run trail, is do the vector blur before you do, you know, on the actual outline, which you would have to actually go to the outline comp now and add the vector blur to this, to the actual outline. And for this one, for that way, you would have to go to new adjustment layer above these two and add a vector blur to that perpendicular but you know of course it'll be slower because you're doing the vector blur before it so you have to remember that and it helps also fade the colors a little fade the uh the effect a little bit so it won't you know it won't be as dark when you get back into your uh run of run trail and uh, oh let me go back to our comp here and turn off vector blur on this one now. Oh, it already is off. Good. Alright, we'll leave the fast blur on there. We'll go back. And just see, see, it helps kill it, kill some of the color out a little bit. So that's kind of a good thing too. It's not as thick. It looks more ghostly now. So that, you know, that looks, that looks a little better. And then we can go ahead and play with our, um, Our displacement on there and also don't forget you can do the transparency turn the transparency down if you want it down a little bit or just leave it the way it was so don't forget you know there's there's many a ways you can do this try changing the mode a little bit here no set it to add I guess and just leave it like that and of course just keep going back and uh, you know once you just got to keep pr pretty much going back and messing with the blur until until you get that that look you're looking for and I really don't like this the color right now I'm getting but you know when you see this animated uh, it looks a lot better when if you actually see it going in an animation it does look cooler Let's see how that looks hate waiting for it but you know that's why I say look work with a lower res and it'll it'll go a lot better let me try overlay now that I did that might be a little bit better lighten nope And you know, once you do, once you get all this the way you want it, uh, you can still add it to the background. You can still add a displacement on the background. You don't have to do it that way. You can go ahead and just add it straight to the background, just to stand like I do on the standard uh, tutorials. Oops, got to actually choose the pre-comp first, uh, and you know, this way it'll actually affect just the background and not your uh, your main comp see as you can see see it, d it affects it just like it normally would on the other run trail and then of course on this one you'd have to turn your displacement off your glow off and then turn it on just so it, you can see just the outline and normally I go with overlay if I do it that way because it just seems to wor look better There we go. And maybe let's do a glow here. See, you know, this is pretty much all I do. I just go through and 
just try different ways of doing it, you know. There's there's never really one way to do it because every scene I work with, it's always different, you know. I always have to change something up. I can never, there's never one thing because every scene's going to have a different colored background, a really bright background. It's really hard to uh, work with. But, you know, this work, this idea works just fine. You know, and just change that. Like that. Now, I'll pause this and go ahead and do a quick render of it for you, just so you can see how it looks in motion. All right, now this is only going to play on 15 frames per second on the cam program. Hopefully, you can see it smooth enough. And this, you know, this looks pretty cool, how it's, you know, flows back. Displacement looks fine. The glow is fine. You know, that, that's kind of a cool look. So, you know, it, it gives a nice flowing look. It's a fluid and you know that's using the the old way the standard way I normally do with the displacement on the background uh of course I you know I just added the um other way I was doing it with the displacement it works good on most backgrounds it works really good on the super flight uh way on that super flight um video animation I did of my son um that's where it looks really good it depends on how close the the echoes are together if they're close together it'll work really good on that cuz you you know it's just it just kind of it displaces them you don't have to and like on that background there was no texture on the background that's where you need to use it if you have like um no texture and it's just like this pure sky back here you know you really need to uh use the this other way i was telling you about adding the displacement to the actual effect line because there's nothing to displace it's just a, a plain background so you know that g gives you an extra option to go and play with that so you can, you know, depending on your scene, now you have other ways of doing it other than just take a textured background. Like this one's got the grass, so it works out good, and you have some trees and stuff back there to actually get displaced. Up here, you don't really notice much displacement at all. It's just because it's just a gray sky, so you don't see too much up there, except around here where his colors are coming off of his shirt. But, you know, that that's definitely a kind of a cool look. And you can see it flowing, and of course... Um, you can still change the speed. If you th want it to flow off of him more, just change the speed. You know, this is just at 10, 10 on the thing. You can, you don't have to put it to 10. You can go to uh, uh, 20 on it or turn the spread down to zero. And like for this, let me open up our um, effects again. You can take this instead of minus 10, go minus minus 20 on this. And then go to the next frame, our next keyframe, and change this to 20. This way it'll flow out even faster. So <coughs> you'll get a, you know, I should try like 50. Let's do 50, just so you can uh, see it even happen quicker. 50 may be too much, though. We'll go minus 50. I don't want to go with a simple, slow number because you won't notice too much. And uh, we'll leave the fast blur on for the outline. Let's turn the CC vector blur off to see. I'm just curious what it's going to look like. All right, that gives us the more standard looking without the CC vector blur on there. But, you know, it's still not too bad. Maybe if I, let me go ahead and try to do a, add a little bit more blur to that. Just to see. Let's see if we can get an okay look. But I'd add that CC vector blur in there. That's not too bad. Maybe even more on that blur. Just to where the lines kind of show up. Let's just see. Alright, that may be a teeny bit too much on the the blur there. Let's go to nine. It's a little bit better. All right, now you can see the particles are flowing back even more. Just trying to speed up the tutorial. You know about the CC vector blur now, so you know I don't have to really keep that. Uh, you know how it's going to change the look of your uh, animation. So we'll just keep the standard outline going. Just a blurred standard outline. And once it's animated, who knows, it may even look better, but it'll definitely animate quicker. And 
like I said, you'll get different looks and a much faster uh, processing if you're using third res um, outlines. That's our, you know, already do one with.